guys, so this is going to be a quick mini review of the Bosha BB Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 27. This is what it looks like here. It is not full size. Um, as you know, I've been doing a quick review on five different BB creams that I got in the Sephora BB Buzz kind of sample pack. This is the third one I'm reviewing so far, so I'll leave the link down below to the other two. And I have to say, I've tried all five now. I'm ready to do the review on the rest of them. And this is by far my favorite BB cream in the entire set. I really love the Dr. Jart one as well. But even above that one, this one is just the winner for so, so many reasons. Because So I'm going to go over some of those quick reasons as well as some of the information on the website here. And then I will show you myself applying it. All right, some quick information on their website here. I have it right here up. It's oil-free botanical formula to promote skin elasticity and reduce the look of fine lines. Um, like I said, it's SPF 27, which is kind of a random number. It comes in one, unifer one universal lustrous shade, um, and I'll talk more about the shade after. It's supposed to hydrate, firm, soothe, and provide a flawless finish. And it's also supposed to diminish the appearance of fine lines, um, wrinkles, pores, uneven skin tone. It's supposed to be long-wearing natural coverage that conceals imperfection. And it contains no parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. So that is what they're saying on their website. I will leave the link down below if you want to read more about it yourself. But I'm quickly going to tell you some reasons that I love it. First of all, it's a great color match. As you see when I'm going to go apply it, it looks a little bit dark at first, a little bit daunting. But it just totally blends in. I'm super pale right now and it just blends in and like self-adjusts even lighter. So it's awesome that aspect. It is extremely thin and like light in consistency. Not so much silicone-y, just a really, really light, um, like easy to blend in formula. I absolutely love the coverage. As you can see, this is all I'm wearing on my skin right now is the BB cream. Um, a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and then some powder on top to help with the shine. But there's no foundation, this is just a BB cream and it's given me amazing coverage, which I absolutely love. And lastly, I love the longevity of it. I've worn this numerous times. I actually, the reason I'm putting this review out before the other two, I was gonna save it to last, but it's because I keep using it and I didn't want to use it up before I could put a review, but it's just so perfect. I'll zoom in here. It doesn't do that breakdown thing on your skin that can usually happen to me around this area here. Um, it doesn't really settle in any fine lines and it just holds up all day. I can wear this for like nine hours at work and it'd be completely fine. I also love that it doesn't make me incredibly shiny. When, when I show you myself applying it in a sec here, when you first apply it, it does look quite shiny, but if you just give it some time to die down, it'll die down to like a satin finish on its own or if you want to speed up the process you could just put some powder on it and it's totally fine. So here's myself applying it. Here's the color as you can see it looks a little bit dark even when I dab it on my skin but as I blend it in it just kind of seeps into the skin and gradually changes color to the color that I am. So here's the coverage after just the initial application. As you can see it looks pretty darn good on its own but I am taking a little bit more on my fingers. I always like to dab a little bit more in those areas that need just a little bit of extra coverage and just pat it in because I find that really helps cover up any last little imperfection. And here is the finished result after that. As you can see there is still a shine to it but I, keep in mind I just applied it and that dies down relatively quickly. I had to rate this BB cream um, out of five. I would definitely give this a five out of five by far my favorite in the box but overall compared to all BB creams I used, I've used across the board this is probably my favorite um, definitely up there but I think this is absolutely my favorite it just does everything there's nothing I want to change about it really um, it's easy to apply long wearing matches my skin color doesn't break up on me not too shiny nice finish I can go on and on and on about it totally worth it I'm looking on their website here there's two different sizes, um, and the, the smaller one is $22, and the bigger one is $46. The smaller one is point, almost 0.9 of an ounce, so almost a full ounce, and that's what you get in a, in a normal foundation. So $22 for like a higher-end BB cream, I don't think that's incredibly outrageous. I think that's a pretty de decent price for something that you get at Sephora. So yeah, once I end up using all these BB creams and I want to invest in a good one, this is definitely one I'm going to lean towards. So I just wanted to share with you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment below. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!